For this week's podcast in English.com, we're talking about a short road trip we did recently. Yeah, we drove southeast to a town called Merida in Spain. And there were two reasons for the trip. One was to do some bird watching. Yes, and the second one was to see some ancient Roman monuments. Mm. So we drove first to the Portuguese Spanish border. That took about two hours. Yes, and that's where we saw our first Roman bridge, which crosses the river between the two countries yeah. Spain and Portugal. And that's also where we saw the vultures. Now, the area is famous for vultures, and they are enormous. They are enormous. They have huge wings. Uh, and on the end of these wings, it looks like they've got really long fingers. Yeah, and they flew really close to us. It was great to watch. You could actually hear the wings flapping. It mm. was amazing. And then in Spain, we stopped in a place called Alcantara for lunch. Now, this is interesting because the name Alcantara comes from the Arabic, which means the bridge. And, and yes, of course, there was another Roman bridge there, a bigger one than the first. Yeah, because the river is wider there. Yes, it? it's a very famous bridge. Yeah. And then after Alcantara, it was about one and a half hours on to Merida. Mm -hmm, in the afternoon. And yes, <laughs> Merida has a Roman bridge as well. And I think it's the longest... The world's longest. The world's longest surviving Roman bridge. Is that right? Yep. It's about 755 metres long. OK, but the holiday wasn't just about bridges, Richard. No, we wanted to see some Roman monuments, didn't we? And Merida has some of the best Roman monuments in Spain. Yeah. Now, this includes the Roman amphitheatre where the gladiators used to fight. I'm glad I wasn't around then. <laughs> it seemed a bit grim, didn't it? And next door to the amphitheatre was the Roman theatre as well, wasn't mm. it? But there were loads of other things to see as well. There's a Roman arch, there's a castle, temples. It's And it's a nice... I mean, I thought Merida was a nice town as well. Yes, good. And nice squares as well with fountains, nice places to have a drink, have something to eat. Nice to see the storks as well, Richard. Yes. An interesting museum too, with lots of mosaics, which I like. It's probably one of the most famous Roman museums uh, in Europe, I think. Mm. So, two nights in Merida and then the return trip. And this time we stopped in... Elvish, about an hour away, um, but that's in Portugal. It's right on the border, isn't it? Mm. And you know it's right on the border because it's famous for these huge fortifications that are there. Yeah, it's um, it's one of those those forts which is in a shape of a star. Yes, but it's a lovely little town as well, isn't it? Very nice. With an amazing aqueduct. Now that's not Roman. That was built in the 16th century, but that was fantastic. So, in all in all, a fantastic trip, quite a bit of driving, lots of walking and lots of interesting places to see. Yeah, and good weather too.